Beijing's ambassador to Britain, Liu Xiaoming, said China will not simply sit back and watch if months of protests in Hong Kong develop into an uncontrollable situation. Let's listen in. Violent perpetrators must be brought to justice. This is the only way to safeguard the interests of the public and secure a better future for Hong Kong and cement the foundation of one country, two systems. We urge these forces to immediately stop any form of interference in Hong Kong affairs, China's internal affairs, and immediately stop condoning violent offenses. Otherwise, they lift the stone only to drop it on their own feet. So I think now uh, the Hong Kong government uh, is uh, trying very hard to uh, put the situation under control. But if the situation becomes uncontrollable, uh, the central government certainly would not sit on our hands and watch. We have enough resolution and power to end the endless. The comments come the comments from China's top diplomat in London came after a brief and rare deployment of Chinese troops in Hong Kong over the weekend to clean up the streets. The People's Liberation Army has a barracks in an upper class district of Hong Kong. And Liu Xiaoming also warned against external interference in internal Chinese affairs, singling out Britain and the United States and accusing them of condoning violence by protesters. Britain, the former colonial power in Hong Kong, said it was seriously concerned about the latest outbreak of violence. Uh, I think when the British government criticized the Hong Kong police, criticized the <laughs> Hong Kong government uh, in handling the situation, they are interfering into China's internet yes. and they look like they are balanced but as a matter of fact they are taking side. The envoy said the illegal violent activities of protesters had pushed Hong Kong into an extremely dangerous situation. The unrest had eroded China's one country two systems approach to governing Hong Kong although he said Beijing remained committed to the policy. He accused demonstrators of trying to destabilize and paralyze Hong Kong to seize power in a push for independence.